Uh, well, good morning, everyone. I'm here with my colleague, Gerard Deltel, who is a very senior member of our caucus. He is our uh, party's finance critic. Uh, we're coming to you live from the House of Commons here today with something that's really concerning. Um, we have found out that the Trudeau Liberal government is thinking about taxing your dental and health benefits. This is crazy. Um, we just want to make sure that you're aware of this. So, I, Gerard, like, tell tell people about what you found out and what this could mean for them in terms of how much it's going to cost. Well, this is another way of the Liberals to get more money in the pocket of the people, our hard-working Canadian who work hard, we see half of their salary going in the hand of the government, but the government is not it's not enough for them, especially for the Liberals want to take more money. So, if you have uh, health assurance, private health assurance on health care and dental, well, you're not alone. We're talking about 13 million Canadians who have that kind of protection. And if you had that, it's the fact that most of them are, this is a family protection. Yeah. So we're talking about 24, 24 million Canadians who are touched with this. So this is a great thing for Canada to have that kind of thing. But the point is, is that the government want to tax it. And if you want to tax it, well, it will cost $1,000 for every worker. Unfortunately, we had an experience of that, and I know what I'm talking about, I'm from Quebec. <laughs> in 1993, the Quebec government created that tax on those two issues, and uh, one worker on five lost his protection. So Are you kidding? Wow. Exactly, one on five. So now, 25 years later, we see the bad result of this bad policy. But this is what the Liberals are trying to make. Count on us to be sure to be the watchdog not to do that. So you're talking about your experience in Quebec. In Alberta right now, as you know, we're facing a really severe job crisis. So some of the liberal tax policies like the carbon tax, mm -hmm. like the increase in CPP premiums, we're already seeing um, employers saying, I'm not sure if I can keep people on right now. How do you think that this new tax on dental and health benefits, you're saying it's going to be about $1,000 a month uh, per person, right, yeah. that has this benefit, or sorry, $1,000 per year. Yeah. How do you think that's going to affect somebody in my riding who's already out of work or who has a spouse who's out of work and they're struggling? Well, the reality is that it will, you will have less, $1,000 less in your pocket. And if you add that with the fact that if you're in family, it's more than 2000 bucks. If you add the fact of the liberal carbon tax will implement in the next uh, years and with the government saying more money because it will have effect on every issue, we're talking yeah. about transportation, we're talking about uh, you know the reality of what we have. We, we need to buy things, and so and, and things are not come like that. It's yes. come by transportation. So we're talking <laughs> about <laughs> it about, is a yes, tax on everything. This is a tax on everything. And if you add also the Canadian pension plan, so we're talking about new charge to every family of six thousand seven hundred dollars for each family. This is the liberal price to pay. So, uh, you know, I think a lot of people, certainly in my province. By the way, Gerard is awesome, you guys. He has been standing up in the House of Commons every day, um, pushing back against the Liberals for you on the carbon tax, on the CPP pre premium increase. You know, what, what, can, what are we going to do about this for them here? And then what can they do to tell the Liberals that this is ridiculous and that enough is enough? For sure, we assume our job in the House of Commons to ask questions. Yesterday, uh, the, our leader, Ronald Ambrose, asked twice mm -hmm. a question to the Prime Minister, who dodged the issue. You know, he, did. he didn't he did. answer anything. He said, well, you no, know, we're talking about the morning class and blah, blah, blah. But no answer, clear answer. I asked again the question to the Minister of Finance. Again, he dodged the, the issue. So, I think that people in the House could call the uh, Liberal MP in the, yes. uh, the, your area. I hope you're not, you don't have a Liberal <laughs> MP, but in the, your area, you're, I'm sure there is a Liberal wrong. So call him and say him to, uh, to him or to her, stop this, we, it's enough, we pay enough uh, tax here. I Probably. agree. And, and I mean, for those of you who are listening, I mean, enough is enough. This is, this is crazy. We are overtaxed and we overspend here in Ottawa. And we need the voice of common sense people like you, who are trying to make ends meet to help us do our job here. We need you to speak up and say, no, this is outrageous. Make sure you're posting this on your Facebook page, you're posting this on Twitter, like my colleague says. Make sure that you're contacting your Liberal MP and then watch us because Gerard here is, is pushing so hard for this in the House of Commons. He's going to be doing this again today. We hope to raise this in debate. Um, but we just want to know that we're standing up for you and uh, this is crazy. So n let's just say no to taxing dental and health benefits.